What's going on everybody, Kleepas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of the T-Mobile Revel 6 5G. Now before we go any further, as always, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. Now as the name suggests, the T-Mobile Revel 6 is T-Mobile's newest Revel phone. But keep in mind, this phone does have another variant, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, and that is a completely separate device so definitely don't get the two confused. Now before we get too far into the actual phone itself, let's take a quick look at what comes in the box. So there's really not a ton in here. At the very bottom, we got a SIM card removal tool. Then in this little mini box thing here, we got a quick start guide terms and conditions, safety information, and last but not least, a USB-C cable. So again, not really a ton of stuff, pretty standard these days, but as you can see there, there is no wall adapter included, so definitely keep that in mind. Now getting into the actual phone itself, with the T-Mobile Revel 6, we're getting a 6.52 inch IPS LCD display with a 720p resolution, a PPI of 269, and an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. So for what it is, definitely not a bad display here, but it's also pretty generic, pretty much every entry level 5G phone around this price, which at full price is around $169 by the way, is gonna have pretty much the same kind of display. That being said though, as long as you're not expecting the most amazing image quality or anything, for an entry level phone, it is pretty good. At 6.52 inches, it's definitely on the larger side. So if you're gonna be doing stuff like web browsing, social media, things like that, everything will of course show up larger and be easier to see. And with the 20 by nine aspect ratio, we're getting a taller and more narrow form factor here. So if you're doing something like watching a video in landscape mode, you're gonna get a more immersive experience. And when you're doing your reading, web browsing, stuff like that, you'll be able to fit more content on the screen without having to scroll as much. And even when it comes to the image quality, sure on one hand, it's definitely not the most impressive image quality ever, but of course, this is a really entry-level phone, and for what it is, despite only having a 720p resolution, things do look decently sharp. And in general, as long as you're not going to be on your phone all day or anything, for more moderate use, you will definitely get a decent experience. Now for storage, this phone's getting 64GB of internal storage with micro SD card expansion, so not bad at all. Sure, on one hand, it's pretty much the same generic amount of storage as pretty much every phone in this price range, but for the average user, as long as you're mindful of what you're putting on your phone, and you make sure to use a micro SD card whenever you can, while it's not the most ideal storage in my opinion, for a more entry level device, it is at least acceptable. Now for security features, the T-Mobile Revel 6 does have face unlock, as well as a fingerprint scanner right here on the power key, so definitely a great spot for a fingerprint scanner, and it is nice to see that for such an entry level phone, we're still getting multiple options besides a pin to unlock it, but let's give the fingerprint scanner a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go, so as you can see, real fast and responsive, no issues at all. Now for the camera setup here, we got a water drop notch for the front facing camera. This camera is five megapixels. Then on the back, we got a triple camera setup with a 13 megapixel main camera, a two megapixel macro camera, and a two megapixel depth sensing camera. So as far as features go, things are pretty good here. Unfortunately, we're not getting an ultra wide camera here, but at least it does have a macro camera. So if you wanna get close up detailed images, you can do that with this phone. Now, as far as the photo quality goes, being that this is a first impressions video, I haven't actually used the camera yet, but from what I know about this phone, I'm expecting it to be at least decent. Sure, if you're taking a lot of pictures, you're probably going to want to get something a little bit better, like even the Revel 6 Pro for that matter, that does actually have an ultra wide camera. But if you're really just taking a couple photos every now and then, maybe something for social media for example, and you want things to look nice, but at the same time, you still don't need the absolute best quality ever. For that kind of activity, this phone will get the job done. And for video, this phone has a max recording quality of 2K in the rear camera and 1080p in the front. So I don't know how many people actually like to use 2K. For me personally, if I'm going to record in any quality above 1080p, I'm just going to go to 4K, which unfortunately this phone doesn't have. But if you do want to record in 2k keep in mind at least in the rear camera this phone can do that so in general as far as the photos and videos go with this phone while this phone is probably not going to be a great choice if you're a content creator for more casual occasional users for what it is i do think it's at least good enough now when it comes to RAM and processor, the T-Mobile Revel 6 has 4GB of RAM with the MediaTek Dimensity 700 processor. Now I've actually seen this processor in all kinds of different phones, and for a phone that's really under $200, it's definitely a good one, and for the overall performance, I really can't complain. Sure, on one hand, compared to maybe a $500 phone for example, this phone is not going to be nearly as fast, and if you're going to be on your phone all day, or you're doing something like high performance mobile gaming for example, then yeah, you're probably going to want to spend a little bit more and get something that's quite a bit faster. But for more casual use, if you're doing stuff like web browsing, social media, things like that, and you're really just not going to be on your phone all day, then I do think this phone is going to be able to do anything you really need it to do. And of course, as the name suggests, the Revel 6 5G is of course a 5G phone. So if you are looking for something with 5G connectivity, this is definitely one of the more affordable options out there. Now this phone has a 4500 milliamp hour battery that supports 15 watt fast charging, so definitely not bad here. With the 15 watt fast charging, the charging speeds, while not being the best out there, for an entry level phone are still definitely good. And for the battery size, although we're not quite getting a 5000 milliamp hour battery, the battery life here is still definitely 
definitely going to be good. So if you're looking for a phone that's really going to last all day, then I do think this phone is still going to be a good option. Now, another battery thing to keep in mind here is that the T-Mobile Revel 6 5G does not have wireless charging. And the reason I say this is because the Revel 6 Pro actually does have wireless charging, which keep in mind is definitely not a very common feature in non-flagship phones. So again, don't forget, between the two, only the Revel 6 Pro does have wireless charging. In this phone, the regular Revel 6 does not. Now for the software, this phone does have Android 12, which is pretty good. I mean, sure, on one hand, if you want the latest version of Android, while there is a pretty good chance this phone will get Android 13 in the future, I personally wouldn't count on it because I have no idea when it's actually going to happen. But of course, with Android 12, at least we are still getting something decently new. Now, one kind of disappointing thing about this phone is that unfortunately, we're not getting NFC here. So if you like to make contactless mobile payments using Tap and Pay, then just know you're not going to be able to do that with the T-Mobile Revel 6. This is really too bad. And I feel like at this point in pretty much 2023 by now, every phone, low end and high end, should have NFC because after all, tap and pay is such a common, widely used feature. But keep in mind, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro does actually have NFC, so if that feature is important to you, then you might want to consider that phone instead. Now, taking a look at the overall design, it's a pretty generic look. I want to say the vast majority of phones in this price range look pretty much the same. But that being said, the build quality is pretty good. The materials, while not feeling premium by any means, still do feel decently solid, and the phone has a good amount of weight to it. So honestly, I can't really complain too much, and I feel like most people in general don't really care whether or not their phone looks interesting, basically so long as it works and it doesn't feel too cheap. And as far as that goes, the design we're getting here is at least decent. That being said though, something else to keep in mind is that unfortunately this phone doesn't have stereo audio, so when you're doing something like watching a video, or maybe listening to music, the sound is only going to come out of the main speaker, so in general it's not going to sound nearly as good. But that being said of course, if you use headphones all the time anyway, it's probably not going to matter too much. But in conclusion, my overall first impressions of the T-Mobile Revel 6. In general, I definitely don't think this is a bad phone. Sure, it doesn't really have anything special going for it, but for what it is, again remember, the full price of this phone is around $169, and with the deals Metro and T-Mobile typically offer, you're probably not even going to be paying that for it. So for being such an affordable device, getting 5G connectivity, decent performance, a pretty good amount of storage, and a decently large battery is definitely a bargain in my opinion. So overall, if you're looking for an entry-level 5G phone for pretty much the basics and you don't really need a whole Lot else, I do think the T-Mobile Revel 6 is definitely worth considering. Now once again, if you want to learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram, and as always, I will see you in the next video.